you don't know me, first. There we go. So you're going to have as much fun as you possibly physically can. And I would highly recommend you push yourself as far as you can because we only have X amount of time and that glider control is the absolute most important. So the uh, first six days we're going to be up and down the beach, kiting all over the place. And then uh, last four days we're going to pop down into Mexico and do some flying. Because all this glider control and kiting, that is flying. So literally, by the time you ever leave the ground, you should be an expert pilot. So the push yourself really hard because the most valuable skills you'll learn will be in the kiting and glider control. So just push hardcore gung-ho and go for as many hours as you possibly can. We're going to have gear sitting here, so after today, like if you're a you know, 6 a.m. kind of guy, if there's wind, grab some gear, we'll have you check it out on the sheet, and you just go out there anytime you want, and then uh, show up. Uh, for the classes, so that schedule, Eric will have that. But yeah, you'll have access to all the gear you want, and if you could put another three hours before we even, you know, get started, as many hours as you can. Yeah. It's all about hours, 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 because you need to be responding to the glider instinctively where you don't even have to think about it. Your body just reacts, and it's so instinctive. Really cool thing about this class is all of the equipment uh, is covered. So if you rip a glider in half, a $4,000 glider, you pay nothing. Um, all of the equipment is covered. It's the only uh, group in the world where you can actually get the training and all the use of the equipment and insurance on the equipment is covered. Um, don't use your own gear because I'm ridiculously overly nice. I want you to beat up my gear um, so that your gear is nice and squeaky clean when you get ready to go fly. And the gear that we use for kiting and stuff is generally different than the gear that we fly, so we'll have all nice new gear to fly. And <laughs> you gotta think like a nine-year-old. You know, run around, screw around, have some fun, goof off, you have to play. Yeah, you, your, your, your goal is to have fun and play, because the more you play and screw around and kite up the sand dune and jump off and screw around and walk over your buddy and knock into his glider, the more you play around and the more fun you have, the more you learn, because if you just stand there in one spot and you're not playing, you don't progress as quickly. So your entire lives, everybody is used to supporting their body weight with their legs. All of you are land-bound creatures. We need to work really hard to switch your brain from a land-bound creature to a bird. This is a really critical thing that we have to try and work on the whole time is to allow the glider to control your body. You control the glider, the glider controls your body. So you're not, you don't want to balance the glider with your body, you want to balance your body with the glider. So if you start falling down to the right, you need to put the glider to the left and balance your body with the glider. Keep the glider in control. You also don't want to stand on your legs. It's a very foreign concept for land animals. Um, you don't want to hold up your body. Uh, we, we need to load the glider, so we need to be hanging from the glider and keep those knees just kind of elastic where you're always loading the glider. If the glider hits a little bit of sink and drops, you can't push a string. So your body has to drop with it. If it doesn't, the glider can deflate and it'll uh, lose pressure. To control the glider with your body, uh, you need to change the height of one of these risers. So go ahead and weight shift left. Ooh, farther, farther, farther. Right there. Okay, notice how one riser is longer than the other. So if the glider goes to the left, you lean to the left. That makes that riser shorter the other one longer, and it puts a turn in the glider. Weight shift does not create any drag on the glider. Brakes create drag. If you use too much brakes, you stall the glider, and it falls down. So we want to use as much body control as possible. The first input will be to weight shift and lean your body. The second input will be to walk the direction the glider's going, and the third input will be to pull brakes the direction the glider's going. So you're going to turn, walk, pull, all three of them. We're going to mainly have you focus on brakes 
until you can at least keep the glider over your head. As soon as you can keep it over your head, that's when we're going to start doing body control. One of our first goals is to get you to be able to control the glider uh, with no hands on the brakes at all. So you should be able to control the glider completely with just your body. And it really helps you understand how critically important the body posture is to that. So this is a reverse kiting technique that we're going to be doing today that he's showing you and how to weight shift to help you keep the glider up there. Of course you use your arms too, but you need to know how to weight shift which is why we demonstrate how that changes the length of the risers by moving your butt like that. Reverse, reverse cross controlling. First most difficult skill you're going to gain is the reverse cross controlling. Uh, so don't be tempted to turn around and start uh, doing that until we master the reverse cross controlling. Um, because if we spend about four days on this reverse cross controlling until it's so burned into your brain you don't even have to think about it again, your body will automatically do the calculations for you when you turn around and you'll learn the forward kiting in like 20 minutes. You pick it up extremely fast because your brain will do the calculations. Now you're going to have roving instructors out there just kind of walking around and helping yep. people. Forward. Correct. Yep. It's all one-on-one -on -one personal instruction once we get out there. Just be out there going from person to person, give you a little tip, help you out, um, and just keep working your skills because we want to progress your skills as far as humanly possible in the time we have. Yeah. Remember again, there's five instructors. Andy, raise your hand. That's Andy, Dell and I, Boyd, and Rob. We'll be running like little lemons all over the place, picking your glides up, straightening them out and everything. You'll see us going all over, helping you out, especially the first few days. So.